your ass Gotta say it to my face while he's looking back Mirror breaks after math When I hate, I attack Where'd you come by this, piss butt? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawing? Bees here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. 
What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. Remember in what? 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Hmm? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure all the prisoners. Follow my lead. Right, let's get out of this shell. For a piss pot. It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Merde. Some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arno. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. 
Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. A no pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. this supposed to me Arno Can't I go with you father Courage my boy you wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely Harry. hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of the Elise. Father? We should all be called... Come parents. here, girls, now. Father? Can't 
gambling fairly at cards, so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. I say. Sorry. Oh. Pardon, madam. Get out of my way! Move it! Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Ah. Headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arbor in a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, Monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea again. Je vous remercie, Monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Wait! Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go make around. Make way, make way! All over. What was that? Damn it, slow down! Apparently, walnut is a popular finish this season. Who is driving this coach, Pelops? Mm. 
Monsieur de la Serre. Mes excuses, wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. s'était écoulé depuis les dernières tenues des étages et des roues. Et une fois que la convocation de ces assemblées parut être réunie des études, je n'ai pas balancé à rétablir un usage dont le royaume peut tirer une nouvelle force et qui peut ouvrir à la nation une nouvelle source de bonheur. Must have tailed me from the estate. La dette de l'État, déjà immense à mon avènement au trône, 
s'est encore accrue sous mon règne. Une guerre dispendieuse, mais honorable, en a été la cause. L'augmentation des impôts en a été la suite nécessaire et a rendu plus sensible leur inégale répartition. Une inquiétude générale, un désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égarer totalement les opinions qui ont le se de les Who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now. We can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Get him, Hugo! Easy, big fella. Thank you. Hold them still, you go. Crush him. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, stop! What are you doing there? Uh, running. La vérole doit manger la cervelle. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. How late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Sound. 
and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! up in arms and they're having a party what's this party for anyway not sure some kind of confirmation ceremony for the de la Serre girl Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. Let me back in if I do. What? Certainly not. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. Evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. Sure. 
sure that Flev would buy it this afternoon. Did you see what she's wearing? Brenna. What do you expect? Kind of. She's half sad. I'll not be made a mock of by the likes of him. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? You don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Oh, my! That was at the billiard room at all, was it? We are pursuing an interloper, Mademoiselle de la Terre. Have you seen him? No, I didn't think that he climbed stairs. Nor were those little rules. <coughs> and how did they get out of the Royal Menagerie? Not an could have been on party duty, but no. Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Wait, did I? That's odd. He looked so familiar. Oh well, next time.
Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? The sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. In these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, piss pop. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you mocking me? No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate will approach. So. The son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come. What changed your mind? I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. In the Nubahu Tukilu Kailai. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking do I want your help, yes. Then drink.
Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this Father! Hand where is that boy? We should be well aware. These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, the sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Dergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate.
In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, a stair girl acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Go to the next sequence. What's the mission? The mission... Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, Bisbop. I live to serve.
Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When I... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Sivert is not the target. Not today. Come on. You'll never get past all of them. Drop some smoke. That's a lot. Up back. Let's go. Missiles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. Trying not to strain your heart. Trying not to strain your heart. I'll still be running when you're dead. Need a break? Run! I can't believe this. We've not seen Sea there for a year, 
and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many lists. What happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds to do nothing. Three more Templars killed last night. You don't seem well, terribly does. fond of him. Templars have been killing each other like he was going out of fashion since 89. He sees himself a as a great peacemaker. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? We hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce. We might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready? Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Here, brother. What's our plan? Our plan? You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Where, oui, monsieur? Good. Tell Sivert I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin.
Everything's in place. Finally saw Risa, did he? What's our cut? Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Who's in there? Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! Hey, come on, it's me. Already on it. Couple of seconds. Initiate. We're opening a server bridge. Find the portal and pass through before the suite finds you. Got it. Go. Do you see it? 
They're hard to miss. Jumping from one Helix server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiative that gets the brunt. Deacon, you're not helping. fortunate the first time through a bridge. Sometimes our initiates are trapped in the system and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them. In fact, one of our initiates is caught in a Bellapox server right now. If you're not too exhausted, you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. <laughs> You are well, citizen? Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Sivert had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tsunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Sivert met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. 
So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional Assassin's Blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tudes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace. Que diable se passe-t-il Agile, mais probablement sain que les... Well, he was in the colonies a few years ago. Just keep one hand in your purse and you can...
Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Thunes sees in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man... ...has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh. 
I've had my eye on you for some time now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sand. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Nights are getting cold again. Mm. You don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. Sleep on one of those, you'll be as warm as a babe in arms. Ah! The nights are getting cold again. Mm. Come on, so you don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over. No time, lads. Grace isn't fond of tardiness. <laughs> I'm sure. It true what he did to Thierry. I remember the man screaming now. Come the man. here! I'll smack you for an account and error. You're joking. I thought he skimmed up the paper. Oh, you misplaced a wall in a ledger. You oh, got yeah. the double twin it is. Come inside quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside.
What's that then? What's the order for the unfortunate in bed six? Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad. Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning half the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Lyman can't tell me. The unfortunate in bed six. Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning half the district to ash? Use a few drops of a strong acid. Lyman can't tell the difference. Soon, and I'll spare you your life. The catacombs! He's in the catacombs beneath the old church! <sighs> Latouche, I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God. God help me.
Piss off, you lot. should smoke them out. We will open fire! Go back to your ovals! Push us around now. These will do the trick. We want that one. <laughs> Vous allez bien Mon Dieu
Districts, you men, with me.
I've heard reliable reports that an assassin is nearby and that, that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, we, oui, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. But, my lord, our men are out dealing with uprisings among the beggars.
diable. Je te vois I should have known it would come to this. Perhaps not as clever as you think. There you are. Still relying on those silly little hidden... My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a King of the Gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It's done. Delacere is dead. Grand master. Good. You're just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tunes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. 
Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. <laughs> so young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? But where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Léal. Thank you. Bonne chance. <laughs>